Hey, what's up, Storm Watchers? It's Skeptic Autopsy, and after a long absence, I feel like it's best to start off my my arrival with a review of Platinum Inn. I'm fairly aware that this anime has been adapted from its manga counterpart, and that it's made by the same guy who made Death Note. And quite frankly, that's why everyone, me myself included, watched it. And honestly, name recognition just ain't enough, especially after watching this. Prior from this anime coming out, people kept drawing comparisons between this and Future Diary, and it's not hard to see why. Even as something as the main character's fucking name being named Mirai. But now seriously, the plot of this show is your standard battle royale anime where 13 people with the assistance of their personal angels must kill the others in order to become God. And that's pretty much all we get for a story. It's as bland as it gets, and the, and the theme is nothing special, because it's just a death battle style anime. The main character is literally the source of the edge of this episode, but otherwise, nothing really special. He's well yuki, but not as much as the pussy. The other character is Nase, an elite angel and the source of cute bait and fan service of the show, who totally doesn't fit the tone of this show due to how bombastic and ebullient she is, despite the role she's been assigned to. And speaking of tone, this one episode really was jumping the fucking shark. In the first, like, two minutes of this episode, Mirai tried killing himself because his life sucks. Then he literally makes his aunt fall in love with him because, you know, incest is hot. Then she spills the beans on Mirai's parents' death on how his uncle rigged the car they were in with a bomb. Then she proceeds to kill herself with the camera tastelessly focusing on her blood-soaked breast and crotch, traumatizing her husband in the process. Afterwards, Mirai takes to living on his own, using his love arrow to enable people as he's now homeless. Suffice to say, this anime is the worst when it comes to establishing tone. It puts all of its apples in one basket, and instead seems more like shock factor. Because, you know, Dark Evil's maturity. This totally doesn't seem leg-dragging at all, especially when you already establish your tone from the beginning. Subtlety? What the hell is that? We have substance, that's when we throw every transgression at you to get your mind off the fact that this theme and story has the same value as fucking cornflakes. The animation and art style is nothing to speak of either, which is shocking knowing how well drawn Death Note was, or at least this was just really bad artistic interpretation from its monk counterpart, which really shows the ineptitude of the show and the studio behind it. The actual animation of this show is good and impressive in some scenes, and entirely basic in others. Overall, I'll give this an adequate. Will I probably resume look at this? Probably not. Nothing about this is necessarily salvageable. It tries too hard to be appealing by being profoundly edgy. The Death Game Tournament theme is oversaturated at this point, especially with Squid Games and Alice in Borderland being out. The story is a tournament arc, which means it doesn't have a, a plot or a story. It's just bout after bout until it reaches the ending. And the production of this is hella cut cornery, complete with the most watered down illustrations. Can we just accept that anime is totally out of gas now? And with the rather unwarranted popularity of Demon Slayer, which is essentially just fucking bleach, yeah, the writer may not admit it, and fanboys of it may say otherwise. But the inspiration is so blatant, Konami Tosa could see it. And subscribe, like, comment, give the word out, and remember that I assume is watching y'all.